Get ready, space fans. The moment we've all been waiting for has finally arrived. Okay, well I guess if we're being honest, any true space nerd will already know what I'm about to say, so let's just get right into it. On February 21st, 2021, SpaceX announced to the world that they will be launching their first ever civilian flight by the end of the year. That means that you could be on your way into orbit before the year's end. What, who, why, where, when, and how are all very valid questions that you're probably asking yourself right now. Well, never fear, my friends, because we've got all the deets on how you can become the first of your friends to explore the cosmos. So let's check out the inspiration for on this episode of Super Freaky Science. Let's begin with what, shall we? If you subscribe to this channel, and if you don't already, then what are you waiting for? Then you know all about Elon Musk's boundary-breaking space transportation company, SpaceX. For years, they've been revolutionizing the space travel game, and now, after plenty of careful planning and preparation, they're bridging the gap between Earth and the sky by sending four lucky civilians into space. The four seats available on this journey to the stars are to be filled by people who exemplify one of the qualities that make up the pillars of humanitarianism, leadership, hope, generosity, and prosperity. But who's gonna be filling these highly coveted seats? Well, let's take a look. Representing leadership, will be 37-year-old self-made billionaire Jared Isaacman. Not only will he be commanding this multi-day long orbit of the Earth, but he also is the primary benefactor of the mission. So how did this man get to be rich enough to charter his own flight into space all before the age of 40? Well, when Jared was only 16 years old, he dropped out of high school to start running his retail payment processing company out of his parents' garage. This company, Shift4 Payments, is still going strong and Jared remains CEO to this day. So clearly he's no fool, but does that qualify him to command a flight through outer space? Well, luckily Jared is no stranger to the skies either. He's an accomplished jet pilot, having flown in over a hundred air shows and holding two records for fastest flight around the world. On top of all that, in 2012, he co-founded Draken International, an aeronautics company that trains military pilots as well as operating one of the world's largest privately owned fighter jet fleets. So he's a smart guy who clearly has passion for flight. I guess that makes him qualified. Now that we know a little about the captain of this voyage, let's see who else will be along for this once in a lifetime journey. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that we can say about them because they haven't been announced or even selected yet. So how do you get picked to be one of the lucky members of this crew? Well, that actually leads us to the why section. In addition to his many businesses and aerial accomplishments, Jared Isaacman is also a philanthropist with a mission to fund the research of childhood terminal illness. Inspiration4 is somewhat of a fundraising tool and he's hoping to raise enough money to match the hundred million dollars he's already personally donated to St. Jude's Research Hospital. He's so dedicated to this specific hospital and the work that they're doing that he's reserved two of the four seats for them. The second seat representing Hope will go to a St. Jude's employee. While they have not officially announced who that person will be yet, it has been rumored that the seat holder has already been selected and that it's a woman. She's apparently beyond excited about the opportunity. The third seat is generosity. This seat is one of the two that can be filled by you or I. In order to claim the seat of generosity, all you have to do is donate to St. Jude's Hospital through the link on Inspiration4's website. Everyone who donates will be automatically entered into a raffle from which one lucky donor will be selected to join the Inspiration crew and make history. The winner will be selected by the end of February, so if you're feeling lucky, then hurry over to their website before it's too late. Finally, the seat of prosperity will go to an entrepreneur who showcases innovation, creativity, and passion. The catch is that their business has to use Jared's POS system, Shift4, in order to be considered. Hey, the man got rich somehow. 
If you're a young entrepreneur and wanted to be considered but aren't using Shift4 to process your payments, then never fear. They've made it easy to sign up for Shift4 through a link on the official website. The competition runs until February 28th, so you better get your button gear. So in summary, the mission is not only an opportunity to raise money and awareness for a good cause, it's also a source of inspiration, a way to encourage people to reach for the stars and think beyond their wildest expectations, and to give Jared Isaacman some more business, of course. Now that we know the what, who, and why, let's talk about how these four civilians are gonna navigate through outer space. In case you hadn't noticed, Amongst the list of passengers aboard the spacecraft, there was no mention of a trained astronaut. That's because there won't be one. That's right, this mission will be run entirely by untrained civilians. Well, not entirely untrained. All members of the team will undergo extensive lessons on orbital mechanics, stress testing, emergency preparedness drills, anti-gravity training, and so on. The mission will take place aboard SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, taking off with the Falcon 9 rocket. It will launch from the historic Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A. The craft will orbit Earth for approximately three to four days before landing back down on Earth in the ocean. And finally, when? Amazingly, this mission is set to take place by the fourth quarter of the year. What's more, the brilliant minds at SpaceX are so confident that this first all-civilian mission is going to go off without a hitch that they already have plans for a second one as early as January 2022. This time accompanied by former NASA astronaut and vice president of Axiom Space Station, Michael Lopez Alegria. Three paying customers will be transported from Axiom to the International Space Station. It's clear that with all the groundbreaking discoveries and innovative work happening at SpaceX, that this mission is going to revolutionize the way we think about space travel. The skies are open to all people, and there's no going back now. Gone are the days when looking through your grandfather's old telescope or visiting a planetarium on a school trip was as close to the stars as you were likely to get in your lifetime. Pretty soon, instead of basking on a sunny tropical beach or swimming with dolphins, families will be traveling up to lounge on Mars's sandy surfaces for their yearly getaway. Now that doesn't sound too bad. Well that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing all about Elon Musk's first civilian space voyage. If you want to stay up to date on the latest news coming out of SpaceX, Blue Origin, and the rest of them, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And let us know in the comments how you would feel about being one of the first non-astronauts to sail through outer space. Stay safe and keep your eyes to the skies.